Hi and very welcome to the Tech Zone. Today I'm going to take another look at the Dell XPS 15 9500. This is the 2020 edition and uh, they have made a really amazing job with this device. But uh, today we are going to more look at uh, the, uh, changing the SSD on this device and see if there are more than one SSD uh, slot on this device. Um, I thought it was only the 17 inch version that should have that, um, that uh, second uh, M.2 uh, slot. But uh, we will let's see when we disassemble the, the bottom plate. If you can, please uh, subscribe to my channel because it really helps me a lot and makes me uh, happy to create other videos for you all. Uh, thank you very much. It's very important to have a good uh, toolkit uh, and uh, iFixit has um, one of the best uh, tools uh, that you can buy uh, in this category when it uh, comes to open up uh, smartphones or laptops. So I, I use this uh, very often when I'm changing drives or doing other stuff with my laptop. You also need a plectrum in order to, to remove the backplate. Maybe it, you can use something else, but uh, uh, some kind of plectrum is uh, very nice and it works very good. So the bottom is uh, screwed by uh, Torx screws and uh, you will need to have uh, a bit, uh, a Torx T4. Uh, bit in, in, in order to open this device up. So uh, it's just uh, to uh, remo remove all the screws and I, uh, put them in a speci specific order, the same order that, um, that uh, the laptop comes in because uh, you, you, um, it's easy to... Uh, some laptops have different screw lengths and so on. So I'm using this kind of magnetic plate um, uh, to have my screws in the, in the, the exact same order as uh, when I uh, before I dis disassemble. So I will fast forward this uh, episode. Remember when you're putting the screw back that you in the front end the, the ones uh, the four one that I started with they are uh, put in in an angle. So uh, be careful when you uh, assemble this uh, so it, so that you don't um, screw them in right straight from up uh, because that will uh, probably destroy the screw holes. So you have a cutout uh, at the top there and I think that is the only place to, to open this uh, device with. You have to separate uh, the, the black uh, carbon fiber uh, part with, uh, from, the, from the bottom uh, in order to get to the inside of this device. Just work your way the, around. Uh, it's, uh, on my device it was uh, quite easy to to uh, remove, uh, start first uh, from one uh, side and then go back and, and uh, to the left. Uh, that's the way that I find it uh, most uh, easy to do. So now when it's loosened, it's just to uh, take off the car car cover. It's uh, quite easy to do, but uh, be careful. Uh, it's uh, some sharp uh, corners on this. And you can see that it's uh, very rigid. Uh, uh, bottom plate. It's very, very rigid, and it's uh, aluminum, aluminium uh, uh, bottom plate. So you can see there is a second M.2 drive place on this device, and that's <laughs> fantastic because um, I often need uh, more, more than 512 gigabytes uh, as it is on this uh, drive, and even worse, uh, it could be if you have. Uh, 128 uh, gigabyte or uh, 256 gigabyte. You can see that the, the screw is missing and it, it doesn't come with the, the package. So in my case I had an uh, SSD uh, drive uh, in, an enclosure for my M.2 uh, drive so uh, I did use that um, screw that uh, was in that uh, compartment. But uh, maybe you have to find it elsewhere. I, I don't really know where to buy this kind of Screw, screws. Um, but um, anyways, um, you can see I find uh, the one that I had uh, laying around uh, in my uh, drawer. It, uh, it's, uh, it's the same uh, di diameter and uh, it's a big um, screw head on, on it also, so that, uh, that, that will work. 
see this is my uh, SSD drive and you can see the screw need to be uh, in this size, uh, the screw had, had to, have to be in, in that size. Let's check out uh, the in uh, included drive, um, it's a 512 gigabyte uh, drive, maybe a little hard to read on the but uh, it's, it's a fast drive, uh, so I believe that um, in the second uh, compartment. My other drive uh, is already prepared for this uh, system. But uh, when I did that, I, didn't, uh, I opened up the device, but uh, I couldn't. I didn't see that it was uh, two M.2 uh, drives, even if it's quite obvious. Uh, now, but uh, when I when I opened, I, I was a little bit in a hurry, and uh, uh, so yeah, that's uh, uh, quite stupid. And, and uh, someone in uh, in my channel uh, mentioned that it uh, could be two drives. I thought it was only the 17-inch uh, variant that had uh, two two M.2 drives. So it uh, was a very pleasant uh, discovery. So you can see. Uh, this is uh, it doesn't uh, uh, then doesn't provide another um, shielded uh, 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 drive cover either. So that's also a little bit sad that they didn't include that in the package. They, they could have ha had it uh, pre-mounted with a screw. <laughs> it doesn't cost uh, much for them to do that. But uh, next time maybe they will uh, include. Uh, um, uh, drive cover and and uh, you can also see uh, the, the two uh, RAM slots uh, in my it's uh, two mine is uh, two eight gigabyte um, uh, RAM uh, RAM cards but they're very nice and they're very easy to replace with if you want uh, more memory so that's uh, good to see some uh, laptops uh, even have an inverted uh, layout so they have the the RAM slots uh, on the on the back side, so you have to remove everything before you can change them. That's uh, quite stupid. So the only thing is uh, that's left uh, now uh, when it's uh, assembled is to put, put uh, the cover, uh, the back co cover, on again and uh, screw uh, them uh, uh, screws uh, back again. So, uh, but um, yeah, I think it's a nice layout. You can see the. The two fans, it, it, they, this model do not have a vapor chamber uh, cooling system and that's uh, a bit unfortunately. Uh, I would have liked to see that on this device. I think the 17 inch uh, variant has, um, has that uh, vapor cooling system. So just uh, put the, the back cover on and we will see if it starts. I will fast forward that. I had the Dell XPS 13 uh, also for a while, the 2-in-1, the 7390, and uh, that one has uh, the, the storage soldered on the, the motherboard, so that is not a good solution. But uh, otherwise it's a very pleasant uh, device to use. So now uh, powering the system up. So uh, the last thing is to check if we have uh, both uh, drives uh, in the system. So the final step is completed. You can see the device is, uh, the drive is locked, uh, but that's because I used uh, uh, encryption on it. Uh, but uh, that's easy to solve if you have uh, the correct, correct code to use. But uh, anyway, uh, this was a fun video to do and uh, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, have use of it because um, that's why I do this kind of videos, not for myself. So uh, please subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up if you, if you find uh, this uh, video useful. And uh, I see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.